Ah, yeah, it's that time of the week. I got a wee little list, people. A wee little wist. A little wist. Away with a wist. Just for you, scurvy buckaroos. Where are all the pirate comics, by the way? I, I went looking specifically for that. I think there's only, like, one. Now, Cazador from uh, Valiant. Boy, I look huge in this flipping camera today. Sorry. All right, moving right along. <clears throat> Avengers No Road Home, number two. Green Lantern, number two. Female Furies, The Twelve, Go West, Sarah, <clears throat> and a few other things. Just uh, random issues I'll talk about for a sec. Uh, let's say No Road Home number two, which is by Zub, Jim Zub, Mark Wade, Al Ewing with uh, with uh, Medina artwork, Paco Medina artwork. Uh, seemed to be pretty entertaining. It was all told from Hawkeye's perspective. Uh, I might spoil a thing or two but it might be a good thing because some people aren't aren't checking these things out and they might it might entice them to check it out so in any case basically uh he's telling the story and uh, it's uh, it's problematic uh, he's having he's having uh talking about basically uh strengths and weaknesses let's just say have some coffee enjoy it with your buddy and uh i'd give it an okay rating if you're into uh, Hercules, who's kind of like uh, Valiance Armstrong from Archer and Armstrong, and uh, Hulk, uh, and all these other interesting characters, and uh, Monica Rambeau. Uh, check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, Green Lantern number two by Grant Morrison, and Liam Sharp has, of course, another zany, strange tale. Uh, it's impossible for me to say much about these, aside from just to say, I, I like them. They're fine. And they're, uh, <clears throat> they're like one-off pops, which is good, which will end up tying together much like uh, All-Star Superman. Animal Man number one, let's talk about that. <coughs> Lemire and Caldwell. Uh, it's a, it's a, what do they call those family, those growing pain type stories. It has to, all to do with this family. Uh, I don't know the word for it. A coming of age tale or something like that, kind of. It's basically like that. And uh, it's pretty good. I'd give it high marks. I actually really enjoyed that series. It's, a, it's from back in the New 52, but I just reread it, so I thought I'd talk about it a sec. Here's one not to scoop up, I'm sorry. Heavy-handed, obnoxious uh, female furies sucked really bad. I would suggest not, I'd suggest skipping it. This new writer doesn't know what they're doing. Sorry, guys. The 12 from Alterna. I'll probably do the separate uh, standalone review, and I might do one of Go West as well at the same time. I've seen a real similarity between these two series, and one of the two is much better than the other. And We'll just leave that for another review, let's just say. Sarah from TKO Studios, a new company, which is uh, being, being brought out by, I think, uh, one of the runners of, like, Gotham or something like that, used to be a showrunner, uh, is a comic by Garth Ennis and Steve Epting, and it's a war comic with a strong female lead. Pretty entertaining. I do get a Mother Russia from Alterna Comics vibe from Fubar Studios. Just have to put this out there, because that's just how I am. I call it how I seize it. I calls it how I seize it, peeps. You know? And uh, let's see couple of little little factoids, uh, little things that I'm, I'm noticing. Uh, Howard the Duck is going to get an animated show on Hulu as well as some other random characters in, in what's going to be called the Offenders as opposed to the Defenders. Uh, let's see people get offended by this. <laughs> people love to be offended. I think it's got promise. I think Howard the Duck's a fun character. I really enjoy Steve Gerber, so, you know, great stuff. And uh, Peter Samedi news really quick. I think, because I came to this realization and this thought, the whole situation of them wanting to get him swatted or whatever is because he had a deal in the making with Dollar General or certain dollar stores to get his books into dollar stores. They want to tarnish his name so that he cannot do this before they can because that is a threat to Marvel and DC and Alternate could be the next big thing. And uh, I know for a fact, as my situation with where I'm at, job-wise, uh, every alternate, uh, alternate company doesn't count for as many sales as uh, main company sales so they might just have similar sales let me just give you a heads up they have a severely huge sales from their online etsy store so anyway umbrella academy seems to be quite popular on the netflix front it's uh gerard way from my chemical romances uh series it's dark horse it's all right uh i've enjoyed uh, the, the first uh, pilot episode and i would say you should check it out too and one last thing. This is just a random little note. I'm sure people could see the little Black Panther poster behind me before. Um, Michael Jai White, the original Spawn from the, the movie, 
would have been a much better Black Panther, especially at least as the father character to Black Panther, this gray-haired old man who's fat. Who, I'm sorry, I'm not fat shaming, but I mean, I'm fat myself, excuse me. <laughs> but basically, the guy's unbelievable as he was supposed to have been Dare to, or, uh, excuse me, uh, Black Panther previous to T'Challa, Ch T'Challa, whatever you want to say. He is no T'Chaka, is all I can say. Michael Jai White should have been, and or, and I also think he would have been better than Chadwick Boseman. Uh, it isn't, wasn't, uh, I don't know. Basically, he's an awesome black belt fucking, excuse my language, martial artist, and I just love watching his movies, Blood and Bone, uh, Undisputed, number two. Uh, he's got plenty of good movies, is all I can say. He's got a lot of good stuff, and he's an actual martial artist. So being that, uh, that the character wasn't exactly... You know, it didn't have much acting. Let's be honest, didn't have much emotional showing. So he might as well have had somebody like that. I mean, they put Scott Adkins, my uh, other favorite martial artist, in a non-speaking role in Dare uh, in Doctor Strange. Sorry, I keep saying Daredevil. What the frick? Anyway, Daredevil, by the way, should be the new Batman in the movies. The guy from Netflix, Daredevil, being that that's not around anymore. Charlie Cox, I think, is his name. Last point. That is who should be dare to, uh, should be Batman, excuse me, in the next movie. So just some thoughts, some random things. Thought I'd put them out there. If you got anything to say about it, let's hear it in the comments below. Let me know if any of this stuff sounds interesting and if I should do the certain reviews separately and so on and so forth. But I'm not going to be doing uh, too many separate reviews as I will do mostly uh, bunch bundled reviews. Seems like a good way to go. And also, uh, you're welcome to Peter Lightbringer for putting out the uh, Swamp Thing review. I had to do it, man. You requested it. Had to do it. Anyway, guys, have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. Adios. Blackout.